Good afternoon YouTube viewers and subscribers. I've said this several times before in the past and I'm going to say it one more time now. I have some pretty damn awesome viewers and subscribers and friends as I consider them. Because this box came a few days ago, actually it came last week, but I've had a uh, house guest so I really didn't have access to my room and didn't have a chance to go through this yet. But I got this box and in this box are a couple of engines and this letter, handwritten letter. So I'm going to start off by reading this letter. David, here are the two engines I want to give to you. I remember how much you liked the Brat 28 that I sent you, so I went ahead and searched for another. Unfortunately, I found one 28 that was in rough condition on the Mikoa's website. After some more searching, I came across a Brad 25, which is nearly identical to the 28, uh, minus the displacement. Therefore, I bought the 25 for you to have and hopefully run. It came to me in good condition, but had a rough spot on the bottom of the piston stroke. I have thoroughly went through the engine, and I cannot, I cannot seem to find the issue. Hopefully, it's not a big deal, and I hope you can run it. I, also, I have also included a clamp-on pit style muffler that should work for now. The other engine is a McCoy 19RC with a Healy head. How many do you see like that? It has good compression and looks to be in good condition. Hopefully you will have a running McCoy 19 since the other one did not work. I've also included a clamp-on muffler for this engine uh, but the screws need to be um, placed further inside before operation. I wish you the most fun running these engines. If you have any question, you know how to reach me, but I'll give you my cell. From Keith. Very good, awesome man. So let's take a look at these engines that Keith sent me. I'm just going to take all this stuff out and we'll just move all of this out of the way and we'll just go through this stuff. Okay, so that's all in one. So let's see here. Here's the first, the pit style muffler that Keith had mentioned. Um, let's go look at this guy first. This is the Brat. Let's uh, go in a little bit tighter here. This is the Brat 25, I believe. I'm not seeing, yeah, 25 right here. Brat 25. It looks to be in fine condition, actually. Uh, not a stock nut or a prop washer, but no big deal. And let me rotate this through. Oh. Oh, I see what you're talking about. It has good compression, but then on the bottom side of the stroke, it just feels kind of just feels kind of tight. Yeah, I'll have to open this up and see if I can see any reason for that. But I mean, that's, that's a damn nice engine. I mean, that's real damn nice. Um, wow, that's incredible. Okay, let's take a look at this McCoy now. This McCoy came with this uh, strap-on exhaust, which uh, almost looks like it could possibly, possibly maybe even fit this engine. So that would be cool. This is from a Thunder Tiger, it looks like, because it says TT202 on it, so this is probably from some Thunder Tiger engine. Uh, we'll have to check that out and see. Yeah, these screws, I see what you're talking about with these screws. I'll probably end up just replacing those screws uh, with something uh, more appropriate, because it looks like they need to be threaded. Maybe. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. <clears throat> okay, let's check out this McCoy. Look at this thing. This thing is what I would call freaking spectacular. Very nice looking engine. McCoy 19. Now I, I, I'm not going to be able to test the compression really here because this is a, a, a pressure fit. So let me see if I've got a stub. I know I've got a prop stub here. That's why I keep these types of things around. Situations just like this. Leave me a whole, that prop is so thick it's not really leaving me a whole lot of room there. It should be good. Oh yeah. It's 
got some good compression. So that is really interesting. I don't know much about McCoy engines at all, really. <clears throat> so I don't know if this is stock carb or not. It looks kind of like a Perry carb or a Irvine carb. You know, as it's like a black composite material, but it's an air bleed. And I don't know. This thing just looks like it's in pretty freaking fine condition. So, Keith, I really don't even know what to say other than thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. I mean, your generosity is just overwhelming, as is the generosity of many of my viewers and subscribers. I, I don't even think I can list all the people that have been so kind as to send me gifts like this. But uh, look forward to seeing some more videos of these engines, uh, either inside looks or definitely run videos, when I get around to it. I've kind of stacked up with a lot of projects right now, so I'm not really sure my timeline, but I did want to acknowledge Keith and his kindness and at least get this preliminary initial look video uh, posted for everybody to see. So thank you very much, Keith, and thank you all for subscribing to my channel. And uh, I really can't do this anymore without the help of people like you anyway. So, thank you.